guys, today we are going to be playing with some of the most beautifully packaged makeup that I have ever gotten. I did get a beautiful package sent in PR from Caskin Cosmetics and when I opened it and I saw everything that was inside, I got so excited. Uh, they did let me pick out one eyeshadow palette and then they sent me an eyeshadow palette that was pretty new to their collection. So we're gonna be testing out both. I've already done a look with one of them and we're gonna do another one on camera, but I will show you the footage of me doing the look with one of these palettes. But just wanted to let you know in advance like what you're kind of in for. Uh, but yeah, let me show you the things that are in this package. I'm gonna start by showing you the palettes that they sent me. So like I said, they wanted to send me one that was from their news collection and I decided that I wanted to try another one as well because this one is this one is quite a neutral and soft palette it is the number eight palette in the collection I don't know if these have names on them so this is a Chinese brand all of their makeup is made in China and a lot of the things like on the packaging and stuff is in Chinese so I don't understand all of it so I can't really tell you like you know what it says on the back and stuff I don't know what the ingredients are I don't know any of this all I know is that the packaging is beautiful and I'm really really excited to be playing with the other palette as well but as you can probably tell by not only the color story but also the swatches like this is a brand that is more for or this isn't really a brand that makes eyeshadows for what I like, but I, I have to review this for what it is. And I think that for what it is and for what this brand means to come out with, it makes perfect sense. Like, yes, their eyeshadows are pretty toned down and pretty subtle, but the formulas that are meant to be a little bit more on the like softer side, more wearable side, more subtle side. Did I say subtle twice? I'm not sure if I did, but I, I think you know what I'm trying to say. Like. They have executed what it is that they wanted to execute. And even though the shadows and the pigmentation in the shadows is, is not very strong, this was the intention. Like this is not a brand that came out with a palette and advertised it as something that it's not. Like if you look on their website and you look at the promotional pictures and stuff, like you can tell that this is how their formula is meant to be. Like this is supposed to be for people who want very easy, quick makeup, but still, beautiful and really, really nice and soft formulas. Like these are, these are honestly really, really nice. And if this is something that you think that you would like, I would imagine this to be something that like, like the formulas in here feels like something that maybe like Dior would come out with, or like those very, very high end brands that are more like sophisticated formula wise. Like this is kind of what I would expect this brand to sort of be. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Like you will see it in the looks that I'm gonna end up doing too, that these are definitely more subtle than what I prefer, but I still think that this brand as a whole is beautiful and I'm still just, I can't wait to put some of these other things on my face. Let me show you the other palette real quick as well. So this is the number seven palette and this is the one that I picked up myself because this was like the most, I guess, colorful one that I had. And I feel like even in the swatches, this one is definitely more like pumped up than the first one that I showed you. And I think that we're gonna be able to get a really like pretty and soft, but still sort of colorful look out of this. So this is the one that we're going to be playing with today. And I also wanna show you the lip products because the lip products are, oh my God, they're so beautiful. Oh, I cannot wait to try this, especially the lipstick. So this lipstick is, let me see, does this have a name? It is the CR127, <laughs> whatever that means. But just look at this packaging. Like the packaging itself, it's very heavy and it's like textured. It's textured on the outside and it has a magnetic closure on it. And then the lipstick itself is like engraved with this beautiful pattern. I can't really like put my finger on what it's supposed to be, but it's just so pretty and so detailed. And I swatched it and it felt extremely smooth and extremely soft. And so I wanna put this on, but let me show you the lip balm that they sent me as well. This is a product that I've actually used already because I was like, it's a lip balm. Let me just try it out. I'm wearing it right now. Not that you can see it, but it is a beautiful formula. It's just really, really nice and nourishing. And the packaging is so pretty. Like this is what you wanna have in your bag. Like you wanna take this out of your bag and put on a lip balm. You know what I mean? Like you wanna have this just because it's so pretty. And I just, I love it. I love it. Like this is one of the favorite things I think that they sent me is a lip balm. <laughs> like how, how cool is that? Like I don't really usually get excited for lip balms, but since it's so pretty and it's something that I'm going to use all the time, like this is super practical. I wish more lip balms were just pretty, you know, because it is the kind of thing that you reach for over and over and over again. Whereas with lipsticks, like how often are you really gonna use the same shade of a lipstick? Like especially if you have a big collection like myself. Like I love my lipsticks, but I know for myself that if I wear a lipstick like 
20 times in one year. Like that is a lot. Like that is probably my favorite lipstick. Do you know what I mean? Just because of how many lipsticks I have, like it's hard for me to get through them, but with a lip balm, I'm gonna use this every day. Like it'll, it'll be so easy to get through. <laughs> The last thing that they sent me was a highlighter and I have already dug my fingers into this because I, when I first got it, I was like, I need to swatch this because this is so pretty. They have, I think only two, maybe three shades. I think they have three shades in the highlighters. This was the lightest one that I picked out. So I think this is gonna work wonderfully on me. So I think we're just gonna go ahead and start with this and then we're gonna do the lipstick and then we'll do the eyeshadow last. I think that's gonna be the plan. So. I just want to put this on my face. Like that is what we're gonna do. So I'm going to use, what kind of brush do I want to use for this? This is kind of a, like a putty formula highlighter, but a little bit creamier, I would say. So I think I'm gonna use this brush from Kaleidos. I'm just gonna wipe it off a little bit to make sure it's like cleanish, <laughs> clean enough. So this is a large eyeshadow brush, basically. I just want to see how this picks up. Okay, so it picks up basically like a super shock shadow. Like it's, it's sort of creamy. So if you don't like the Super Shock Shadows from Colourpop, oh, that is so pretty. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah, if you don't like Super Shock Shadows, you probably will not like this formula because it is very, very, very similar. But that looks really pretty. I think that is a beautiful color on me. And like the compact itself is just stunning. Oh, I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video as well. I think that Kakin is having like a holiday sale. Like that is what they told me. And so I was like, you know what? Let me post my video like when the sale is, around when the sale is. I am filming this like before the sale has started. So I don't know if the sale is already available. They didn't tell me any dates or anything, but I will link the website down below. I also do have a code with them. I forget what it is. I'll have it on the screen and in my description box. I don't think it's affiliated. I'm pretty sure it's not, but every all the information will be down in my description box. But this highlighter is beautiful. I'm gonna go over with my blush just a little bit. I cannot, I just, I keep putting on more because it's so pretty. <laughs> yep, that is very, very shiny and wet looking. I love that. Okay, I'm just gonna take my blush one more time. Where is my blush? This one. I'm using one from Moonside. Nobody is surprised. This is the shade called, what are you? Apricot Girl. I'm just gonna go over like the edges a little bit here to make sure I blend the highlighter in with the blush, but that looks really, really pretty. I'm going to prime with my Natasha Denona eyeshadow base as per usual. And while I do that, I will show you the footage of me using the first palette that I showed you so you can see the look that I did with that. It was a very, very, very neutral look. Like for me, an extremely neutral look, but I was sort of in a hurry that day and I just didn't want to fuss with uh, like the blue in there because it is a new formula to me and I just didn't know how it would perform. So I just, I decided because of, you know, the, the aesthetic of the brand, I wanted to kind of try it the way that it was sort of meant to be used. And I think that the look came out really nice. I mean, it's, it's not the kind of look that I'm going to do on a daily basis. Like I am not someone who really enjoys like super subtle, you know, like neutral looks with just browns and just neutral shimmers. But I will say the formulas performed very, very nicely. And I was happy with the way that the look turned out, even if it's not something that I really feel comfortable in, which sounds crazy because that is the kind of look that most people would do. But <laughs> for myself, like I just felt a little bit naked and like I wanted more, <laughs> you know, I just wanted a little bit more depth. I just wanted a little bit more drama, but that is not what that palette was supposed to be. And that is totally okay. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I got to review it for what it is. And I think that for what it is, it's a beautiful palette. And I think that the look turned out really nice. The palette performed nicely. If you like that kind of look, you would love that palette. But I'm hoping that today's look is going to be a little bit more out there. So let's see, what do I want to do with this? Do I want to go like the green direction or do I want to go kind of more like orangey brown? Like no matter what I do, it's still going to be sort of toned down and neutral because the darkest shade in the palette is a brown. And since I do like depth, I'm probably going to use the brown to add that depth. But I think what I want to do is I want to do maybe these two in my crease and then play with like the greens on my lid or something like that. Maybe that could be sort of fun. So I think that's kind of the direction I want to go in. So I want to see how buildable these are. I'm going to start with the orange here on a small blending brush. This is from Colourpop. It's in a set that I got in a, in a subscription box from, where did I get this? I think from American Influencer. They sent me a box with Colourpop stuff in it and there was a brush set in there and one of the brushes was this one. 
and it's a really really nice size brush so I'm just going to use this as my transition shade here I am going to pack it on because I just want to see like how pigmented I am able to get this I am of course putting it on a sticky eyeshadow primer like I always do and you will see just how these kind of go on they're very like I said they're very silky very smooth they're a little bit on the sheer side they're not super pigmented there are brands that make eyeshadows that are like this but are advertised to be something that they're not and I feel like they're very intentional with what they're doing with this brand this is exactly what they wanted when they made this so I totally see where they're coming from and I think that they perform very very nicely for what they are like see how smooth of a blend I'm able to get already like this is just it's so easy to work with and I do know that a lot of you who watch my channel you don't do the kind of makeup that I do like my kind of makeup is always crazy and out there and I know that some of you are intimidated by that but you still like to watch my videos because I don't know maybe you find me entertaining or <laughs> you just like to see other people play with makeup but maybe this could be a brand for you I'm pretty sure they sell on Amazon as well if you want to get like you know two-day shipping or something like that but I will of course link their website down below as well as Amazon if you want to go check out their store there as well because I think that they have quite a bit of stuff I don't know if they have everything but it's always nice to have multiple options of where you can buy something but this is a beautiful orange color like I'm not trying to do anything like super crazy and out there with this I just want to see I just want to see what these shadows can do you know I think I'm going to take this underneath my eye as well here just going to run this all the way across oh I totally forgot I wanted to put on a lipstick let me wipe off the lip balm because I really, really want to try this lipstick. So let's see, I don't want to use a lip liner with this. I already kind of messed up the tip when I swatched it and I'm so sad, but I'm gonna go ahead and put, I don't think this, is this a matte lipstick? Um, does not say on it. I think it's supposed to be a matte, but it very much swatched like a satin. So I guess we'll find out. It is extremely, creamy maybe a little bit too creamy when it goes on but only to the point where I kind of feel like I used a lip liner like I was expecting this to be a little bit more on the sort of dry side but I probably shouldn't have since I swatched it but the color is beautiful usually I'm not super into like peachy lipsticks but I feel like this one is orange enough and dark enough that it's not just like peach that's really pretty it's very very comfortable I do feel like maybe it's going to dry down to a matte I'm obviously just gonna wear this and like see what happens but I think it looks beautiful it's definitely very very nice and comfortable the application on the other hand not the best but that is totally my own fault okay let's go ahead and deepen this look up a little bit so I'm going to take a rougher 13 I'm gonna go into the dark brown shade here which these don't have any names which I kind of like that to be honest <laughs> and I'm just gonna use that in the outer corner of my eye here and see just how deep I'm able to get this so you can definitely see that it's adding some depth to this look and I do like that there is like kind of a deep shade in here but you can see already with like the other shade I feel like it's 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 a little bit more just toned down and soft now that I've worn it a little bit than it was when I first put it on it's almost like they just like melt into your skin a little bit and they become a little more subtle gonna take a little bit of this just underneath my eye as well in the outer corner so these two looks are probably gonna end up looking kind of similar if I'm being honest because the colors are just kind of similar you know once you go in with a transition shade and then deepen it up with a brown the look is just gonna end up looking sort of similar but I am gonna put some of these greens on my lid and we'll see kind of how how that goes but this color is building very very nicely on top of the orange like look how smooth and just nice that blend looks like it almost just 
blends itself. Like it's really, really nice and easy to work with. And like I said, this is not my aesthetic, but that doesn't mean I can't review something for what it is and let you know if the quality is good. So that is what I'm doing in this video. Let's see, what do I wanna do next? Do I wanna do a cut crease? Maybe I just wanna put a little bit of this green like on the front portion of my lid and then layer this shade over the top. I think that's gonna look really pretty. So I don't really need to do a cut crease or anything like that. I'm just gonna basically pat a little bit of this green matte on the front portion of my lid just as a bit of a base for that shadow. So it doesn't matter if this isn't, that's very pigmented, wow. I wasn't expecting that kind of pigment from the green, but look at that. That's actually really nice and is laying on my lid beautifully as well. Yeah, that green is beautiful. So with that base down, I'm gonna take the shade which is here. Again, doesn't have a name. It's almost like a, how would I explain this? It's kind of a sheer color. It's not very intense, but it's gonna look quite wet looking on the lid. And it's definitely a duochrome. It has a very, very strong green shift to it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spray this a little bit to make it nice and intense here. And I'm just gonna layer that basically over where I put the green on my lid. This is definitely a layering shade and it's probably gonna work a little bit better with a finger just from like touching it. And all of these shimmers are like different textures. Like they all feel different, but they all also kind of feel, they almost feel wet. Like it's so interesting. So you can see it's definitely like kind of subtle, but it gives a really, really nice sparkle to the lid and it goes a long way. Like a little goes a long way here. And it's definitely a little more subtle than what I would like, but I feel like a lot of people would just really like this. You know what I mean? And this color would definitely show up uh, lighter if you didn't layer it over something, but I just wanted to have a little bit of a base for this just to kind of see, see what would happen. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more of the brown here on the outer corner to get a nice blend. And then for the inner corner of my eye, I'm gonna use a little bit of the gold shade, which is this one right here, just because I feel like that would be very pretty. And let me try it first without spraying it and just see how that looks. Yeah, that's a really, really pretty color. Not the most metallic or the most sparkly, but it's definitely nice and pigmented. Does what I wanted to do, basically. I just wanted to have a pop of yellow in my inner corner. So like you can see, the kind of looks that you get with these are, they're pretty subtle. Like, yeah, you can look at this palette and be like, ooh, that's nice and colorful, but because the formulas are the way that they are, you're not gonna get like that much oomph from it. But I think that this is still a brand that a lot of people are going to love. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish off my eyes and then I will come back, show you the final look and kind of tell you like my first impression thoughts, I guess, on the brand as a whole. Okay, and the look is done. I just put on some mascara and put some nude eyeliner in my waterline. So I would say, overall, I think that this brand is doing really, really nice things. Are the eyeshadows going to be my favorite? No, because the eyeshadow, the eyeshadow formula is just not what I look for in my eyeshadows, but that doesn't mean that they're bad. Like there is a market for something like that. And even though that market isn't me, I know a lot of people are going to love this. I think that what I'm the most excited about about this brand is definitely the lip products and the face products. I wanna try more, not only of just their lipsticks, but like their face products in general, I feel like they're going to be really nice. Like they have foundations, they have blushes, they have all kinds of stuff. And I wanna try more of that. Like I don't necessarily need to try more of their eyeshadows because I, I already know they're not gonna be my favorite, but I think that they would be other people's favorites. I think that the packaging is beautiful. Everything is really nicely executed. And I'm really happy that I was able to try out the brand. So thank you very much to Kat Kim for just sending me this stuff and being able to show you guys because it is nice to, even though something might not be perfect for me, it's nice for me to be able to show it because maybe it's perfect for you. And that is what I want my channel to be. I wanna be able to review stuff that maybe isn't, you know, necessarily like my favorite thing, but if I can help you find something that you are going to love, I think that that can be really helpful to you guys. So that's basically gonna be my thoughts. Let me know if you have tried this brand. Is this a brand that you are interested in? Do you wanna see me do more with this brand? Let me know and I can pick up some more stuff myself because I am, like I said, very interested in, in testing out more. Uh, let's try the lipstick and just see. So it definitely transfer. 
it it's not a matte lipstick, which I kind of thought it would be, and I don't know why, but it's definitely not a matte lipstick, but it's very comfortable, and it looks really nice on my dry lips as well, so I don't have any complaints about that. I think the formula is really nice. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today, I think. If you wanna see some more first impression videos, of course I have a ton, here's my playlist, and if you're new, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.